Well, here we are at the auto parts store. I know you don't like it, right? Because we're going to have to spend money. And you may be wondering if I'm driving around without brakes and, well, friendliest guy in Parker helping me out here, folks. <laughs> Bubba Box Truck Corey! Well, I guess it's time to pack up and hit the road and go over to Parker, Arizona, where my friend Alex can help me with my brake problem. I met Alex at the van build party. If you were there, you might have met him too. He's the guy driving around in the blue VW Bug. Real nice guy. Helped me out, brought me some stuff in from town. He, uh, Helped some others, too. I don't have anything bad to say about the guy. He was, you know, good friend. Helped me out, helped others out. And now, he's going to help me out again. Fix these brakes. It's a bit of a drive from Slab City to Parker, Arizona. About three hours, I think. But it's pretty much through the middle of nowhere. And there won't be much traffic. And, you know, I, I think I'll be alright with my limited brakes. I hope so. But... There's no, there's no way for me to fix it here myself, and uh, going to a, a auto shop to have a, you know, a mechanic fix it. Nah, I can't afford that. So, Parker, Arizona, here we come. Check this out, guys. Dopey likes to drive. Is it time to go? Can we leave, Dad. We got Walmart in the background. We're getting ready to go, Dopey. What do you think? I want to bark some more, Dad. Yes, you're a good barker. You sure are. Don't be. You jealous? You jealous? Give me love. Forget about her. Well, I think it's time for us to soon hit the road. Go over to O'Reilly's, see if the part's in, fix the truck. And uh, it's pouring rain today, so I don't imagine it's going to get fixed outdoors today. So I guess that means we're going to be we're going to be hanging around uh, here for at least one more day. Well, here we are at the auto parts store. I know you don't like it, right? Because we're going to have to spend money. Going to go in there and spend 15% of my monthly income, but what are you going to do? Pick up my master brake cylinder. You know, if you're going to come out here on the road and live van life, you got to be prepared for problems. You just never know when things are going to break. And it's going to take money. It's going to take money. It's going to take money to fix it. If you can't do it yourself, and even if you can, you're going to need to buy parts. If you, uh, if you can't handle some minor repairs, you better think twice before heading out because vehicles man they break down it's my biggest worry out here on the road because I don't have big emergency funds this repair I could handle but I'm gonna suffer for it I'm gonna have to go without for a month because that 15% of my monthly income can't just reappear it's gone right so I'm gonna cut back on food and alcohol and cannabis and having fun because I need my truck fixed thankfully I can manage it. A big repair, transmission, an engine, something like that, I don't know what I would do. But today, at least I got it resolved. Well, we got it here. Came in next day. Let's see if it's the same one. Well, it sure does look like the same master cylinder. But the, uh, Reservoir is much smaller. I guess that doesn't matter. I'll have to decide if I want to keep the old reservoir or put the new one on. I'm probably better with the new smaller one because the seal inside's all all new rather than pop them off and pry them. But O'Reilly's came through for me. 
much, much cheaper than uh, the other auto suppliers. In fact, one of them c couldn't even get it for me. They didn't have it. The wa their warehouse didn't have it. They're like, go somewhere else. But no problem at O'Reilly's. So we're going to have brakes in this. And you may be wondering if I'm driving around without brakes and, well, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I had to come pick up the part. I've been hanging out. I haven't been going very far at all. I do have some brake action, but it's not right. So we're going to get this fixed up and I'll be back on my road. Heading back to Slab City, I think. Some progress. It's half undone. Friendliest guy in Parker helping me out here, folks. <laughs> I guess breakdowns are inevitable. What are you going to do? But it's good to have someone to help. Alex the man's putting the new master cylinder on you know we're about 30 seconds in here no time at all i guess the time will be bleeding it it'll take longer than putting it on will it oh yeah 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 because putting you see putting it on wasn't hardly anything no four bolts simple see this is what i need you know good tools for working on vehicles and then you know i could become a driveway mechanic myself I don't see that happening now. I'm a little lacking in the, the knowledge area. Gonna be another nice sunny day in Parker though. The rain's going away. The sky's clearing up. So you must have done pretty much everything to your VW bug, I guess, have you? Like pretty much rebuilt everything yeah. in it? Like Yeah, bugs are probably one of the easiest cars to work on. Yeah, like brake lines and stuff. It's just another day under the hood for you, probably. Yeah, it, don't, it takes a lot to get broke down in one of those. <laughs> Does it? Because you hear that they're always breaking down and blowing motors. So. Yeah, no, if, if you just treat them right. Don't drive them like it's a you know, full-on sports car, but... Well, isn't it? With them 200 and 500 horsepower engines or something? <laughs> I think mine's a stock 1600 and then it's uh, 40 horses. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're like 40, 50 horses, yeah. not that I. Eh? No 50, just 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're wishing on 50. Oh, heck yeah. That's why they called him a slug bug, I guess. Or Hitler's Revenge. Yeah, well, it was an interesting concept back in the day, though. Car of the people. Yeah. It's hard to come across a new car that's affordable in any country nowadays. Well, Mexico swears by them. In Mexico City, yeah. all the taxes and everything are full fucking bugs. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this is why it's good to talk to people, get to know some people when you're out running around, living van life. Because, you know, networking, meeting people of different skills, you know, it, it may turn out to be an invaluable resource. People that can help you when you need it, and maybe you can help them. But I sure am glad that I met Alex, because saved me some money fixing my brakes. Just another example of people helping people out here on the road. Although Alex isn't a nomad. He just was hanging around the van build, checking it out and meeting people. And, well, I'm still glad I met him. I'm Box Truck Corey. Thank you for watching. I will see you again soon.